Welcome to the Viv Lifestyle where we make super simple recipes, try not to set any fires, and basically survive quarantine with toddlers. So tonight we're going to make side street and pork chops. It's a copycat recipe from our favorite restaurant bar in Hawaii where they're known for these pork chops. It was amazing bar food to have and so we're going to cook that at home tonight. It's a really easy recipe so you, it should be quick and easy to follow. What we start off with is we have cornstarch and we sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch on the pork chops and let it absorb for about 30 minutes. We read on the internet that doing that helps tenderize the meat a little and of course we've read on the internet it is probably 100% true, right? But it's worth a shot. So we're gonna do that 30 minutes and while it's absorbing the cornstarch, we're gonna go ahead and put together the mixture that we're gonna almost like batter it in, like a light batter, before we fry the pork chops. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's put together the mixture. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna pour about half a cup of cornstarch into this pan here that we'll use. And I'm going to do a little bit less than half a cup of cornstarch because remember, we already sprinkled some on top of the pork chops. So just a little bit less than half a cup. And then I'll do half a cup of flour into the pan. Half a cup of flour. We're also going to do two tablespoons of garlic salt. So you can use plain garlic salt that you have at home. I'm using this one. It has a little bit of parsley in it. It has some extra flavor um, or herb flavor if you like. Or you can just use a regular garlic salt. So I'm just gonna do two tablespoons, maybe a little bit more if you really like it garlicky. Two tablespoons of this garlic salt. That looks about two and a half tablespoons. In addition to the garlic salt, you're going to do an equal amount of black pepper. So that's a lot of black pepper, but it will add that flavor when you mix it in. Okay, so we're going to do about two tablespoons of black pepper. And then we're going to take a little whisk and mix it all together and make sure it's evenly distributed before we start frying. Okay, so now we have our pan going with some oil to get nice and hot. And then we're going to take the pork chops and dredge it in the flour very lightly. It doesn't have to be like completely covered in the flour mixture, but just very lightly dredge it in the flour. And then throw it, in, throw it into your hot pan. With this meal, I like to serve it with some nice sauteed onions and mushrooms. So I have my pan going, a huge hunk of butter. I mean, why not? I have a friend that would always say, mo butter, mo butter. So lots of butter, stick it into the pan, and then throw in your onions. These onions are sweet Maui onions from our garden. So we feel really lucky that we can use this for our dinner today. We can use any type of sweet onion or a regular yellow onion. All right, just wanted to give you an update. I ended up switching burners. Turns out the first burner I was using was a little too small and had a big pan, and it wasn't getting the pan hot enough, especially considering how large it was. So I moved it over to a burner that was a little bit bigger. Something to watch out for because you want that pan to be really hot for these pork chops. So normally I would cook it in a lot of butter, to be honest, but because I used a lot of butter in the mushrooms and onions dish, I decided not to do butter on the pork chops. But if you do have it with butter, it is so good. Um, just keep turning your pork chops. And that's the other thing. So that's the second thing. You probably noticed I turned the pork chops multiple times. This isn't like steak where you need to kind of like leave it alone and let it do its thing. With pork chops, I keep turning it over. And the important thing is to make sure it has a nice crispy brownness to each side, especially on the fatty side. And here we have our delicious copycat side street and pork chops. If you like this recipe, give us a thumbs up or click the bell icon for future recipes, subscribe to our channel, and then also give us a comment below. How else do you like to have your pork chops? We're gonna have it tonight with rice, of course, ketchup, and kimchi. So we hope you enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.
Welcome to the Viv Lifestyle. <laughs> Welcome to the Viv Lifestyle where we're learning to cook simple recipes <laughs> and trying to survive quarantine with kids. <laughs> and one more. Wanted to say hi. Oh God.